Welcome home, free agents. This is Lyra Star, free agent, quantum dreamweaver, and game developer here at Great Works Alliance. We have been on a great and spectacular journey, and I know that it's been a while since I've shared with you our progress and wanted to get you up to date and share a little bit about the beginnings of our premiere and first game, Sparkitude, brought to you by Great Works Alliance, where we are inspiring and empowering the hero within. This game is about a, the interpersonal exploration of your virtues and strengths and values and how your passions can be realized. The, our part is to bring you tools, games, and activities to inspire and empower the hero within, to start getting in touch with the empathic human within. Um, we started developing Sparkitude, the first of many games in the Soul Spark Playground in Nevada County last year. It began in February of last year, and Sparkitude is a sparking of transformation of your attitude through inner reflection and collective play. Would you like to come play? We explore such subjects as curiosity, creativity, initiative, multidisciplinary thinking, empathy, and other values that we share in common. This is all to promote and ignite your soul sparks. This was where we began with a small, small board and even smaller game pieces. So the game pieces were about this big and that wide. And they have icons for each of the character strengths and virtues that we adopted from the VIA booklet on positive psychology. You can look at it by clicking on the link on our website at greatworksalliance.com in the positive psychology section of our site. Everyone who played it loved it anyway. Even though it was small, they got to explore each of these strengths and virtues and, and see how they could build their map of relationship. Because there's a relationship between each of the strengths and virtues and is different for every single one of us. This is how we help you build your own manual, your own map of life and relationships. This game still did not have a name back then, though. And at the beginning of May, we took it to Liberty's Horizon down in San Diego. This was hosted by Michael Batrano and Shiloh Boss who have gone on to do some other major events and workshops on um, creating PMAs and promoting sovereignty and sovereign design. Our focus was in helping Marsha Ann of Sovereign by Design as she wanted to present on the silent weapons for quiet wars and her understanding of the formula, or actually shall I say, her comprehension of the formula and how we can take their formula. This is this was a document that was created notes in a meeting of the Rothschild family and how they were going to develop countries, how they were going to bring in income and commerce and trade to the world and how they were going to define the human being as a tool of industry. And Marcia began teaching us about the fact that we are the industry. So it's, it's something that I will share more on later, but um, if you have a moment, check out the book. It's Silent Weapons for Quiet Wars. And it's a very eye-opening book. But we played the game with a few of the members that were at Liberty's Horizon. And the name 
was created at the end of Liberty's Horizon. And upon return to our home base in Nevada City, myself, quantum dream weaver Lyra Starmist, began to work to modify the cards and game board to be more legible and fun. When I got the prototype put together, and it took a while because I had to print out parts of the game board in eight and a half by 11 sheets and tape them together on a cardboard trifold. But when I got it done, I put it in the kitchen and common area of the office that we were in for everyone to explore. And I left it on the table, not having everybody come and play at the same time, but everybody just check it out and explore and play at their own pace. And this was really helpful in learning how people like to explore. They don't want to just be told what to do. They want to see what they can do playing on their own, learning on their own. And there were already questions written on the back of each of these cards when I had them set on the table. So people were able to look at the images on the front of the cards and then turn it over and think about those questions when they were putting them on the board. And they started in the center with perspective. I believe that's what that one is there. And each person in the office building added a card to build out from the center in a spiral. We even had seven-year-olds playing, and they thought this was really fun and wanted to play it again. The time had come to expose this prototype to the larger community. So we made preparations for the larger group, being able to put the setting together. We decided on an outdoor setting. And then flyers were sent out to our friends, and others were invited. The venue was set and the food was prepared. We had all kinds of good food out there. And we also had some tea that I designed. It's um, kava chai tea. And you can learn more about that at herbaliciousbliss.com. That's our um, merchandise site. We also have other products available there and on Great Works Alliance site as well. Everyone came to this tent over here, this front tent, and signed in. They picked up a card. I gave them a deck of cards and said, pick any card, any card you want, and that's your card. And so everyone took a card and began walking around and talking with their friends because everyone at this event knew each other. I mean, they'd been already talking and communicating and working together even. And so they were already familiar with each other when they came to this event, which was really great because then they already had a baseline of comprehension of each other's strengths and skills and passions. And that was great for conversation. Here are some of our players showing their chosen cards and the game board that they will begin to play on. Everyone got to get into the action, exploring the core values we all share in common. After this slideshow, I will be adding some video content of what our players actually had to share for your understanding and reflection. It was a wonderful Memorial Day with friends and colleagues as everyone got to enjoy each other's company without any real negative concerns or ramifications, which was really what it was about. Everybody getting together and being at ease. When we had everyone come together, we started talking and the Soul Spark Toolkit came in play. And the Soul Spark Toolkit is used as a part of the game for people to look at what tools they're going to use 
when answering the questions that are on the back of the cards. This is very helpful in being able to better develop a good understanding within a group of people. And so we, we have some intrinsic tools that are available to us that we were born with. They are awareness, personal evaluation, instinct, first principles, responsible. We have values. We have passion, aptitude, critical thinking skills, sense-making skills, the ability of self-expression, and the observer view. There are other tools that we possess, find, and acquire along the path, but these are some of the intrinsic tools that everyone is born with. This is how we grow when we are growing up with these tools. So don't forget your tools. Reclaim your tools. Thanks to our team and all of the participants, we were able to raise funds in the amount of $390, bringing our goal to go to the Freedom Fest in Las Vegas, that much closer to reality. Freedom Fest in Las Vegas happened from July 13th to the 16th of 2022, and we were able to attend as observers <coughs> on the outskirts. <laughs> we look forward to being able to have a table this coming Freedom Fest event here in Las Vegas. And if you are interested in helping us reach our goal of $10,000 to enable Sparkitude to be showcased at this event, be sure to visit our website at greatworksalliance.com and click that PayPal button. Be sure also to click like on this video and subscribe for more content. Because this is just part one of a wonderful journey of Sparkitude. And there will be many chapters to follow. What is Freedom Fest? Freedom Fest is an intense three and a half days. And it is different from any conference you have ever attended. They have yoga in the morning. There are world-renowned speakers who talk on finance and geopolitics and other areas to celebrate liberty. We have breakout groups where the liberty lovers, that's everybody who's a participant in the event, gets to go and mingle with others on different topics. Then there's also an ample movie screening that people get to enjoy and participate in. They can meet directors of full-length documentaries and narrative films that celebrate freedom. The trade show for liberty is where we will shine. We will have a booth, like there are other information booths, and it will have games and cards and other activities available where we can connect with other like-minded people for networking, learning, and helping to build the Liberty Movement. There's also a contest that happens at this event, and the contest is for the best booze with the most innovative products. I think Sparkatude would be right up there. What do you think? There's also debates, mock trials, and, and uh, Socratic debates on Bitcoin versus gold, there's also the other topics that we're experiencing a lot of unrest over, such as racism, immigration, sex trafficking, and the future of liberty, and much more. If you would like to become a part of the team, be sure to connect with us at greatworksalliance.com. Anybody who wishes to sponsor a portion of the supplies, packaging, game boards, cards or anything else be sure to click contact us for further information and we will include your selected sponsorship information at the event and also on our website at greatworksalliance.com we hope that you enjoy this slideshow and the videos to follow be sure to subscribe and click like and look forward to more chapters of Sparkitude and the Soul Spark City Caravan.
Thank you very much. Today, everybody got to look through the whole stack of cards. Usually, they're laid out on a table when it's not windy and we're probably inside. Um, this allows you to see all of the cards and allows you to think about what the images are and how you identify them. Then, the next step is to choose which card we can all agree on as a core value. And we put that in the center here. And it's in both the dark and the light because we always struggle with these virtues and strengths. And so our mission here is to build a map together of our relationship and also be able to do introspective work looking at the questions and, and answering them either out loud or to yourself. The third step is the Soul Spark Toolkit, which I handed out earlier. A couple no. of them. You can all look at these. This was my first version, and I changed it because intuition is the overreaching tool that we have, which keeps us healthy, well identifying our welfare and, and well-being. So we can use this wheel <clears throat> to discover which tools you can focus on. Did you see that? Okay. Which tools do you want to use to focus on answering the questions on the back of the card? We have the shadow hexagons. Again, this is about what isn't strong about us individually in a certain virtue or strength? The idea is we want to lift that shadow up. So you may place a hexagon card on the, the wheel. This, this is the wheel of life here. But it may not stay there. It's all dependent on how we, as a community, lift it out of the shadow. So, we add cards to lift it out of the shadow, and sometimes we choose to just totally take it out of the shadow because now it is no longer something that we have a challenge with or difficulty. And of course, everyone takes a turn, right? You play, you grow, you win, you rock it. And thus begins the game. Go ahead, Thor. So I chose this one, it's got like these two hands that are sort of grabbing at each other through a heart. Um, this picture really just resonated with me because I know, I just <coughs> love people. So that's why I chose it. Turns out that it's actually trustworthy. <coughs> Being worthy of confidence, someone who is honest, who can be entrusted with secrets or anything else of importance. Questions. What are some identifying qualities in the character virtue of trustworthy? Feelings. How does it make you feel when you are trustworthy? Needs. What do you need to experience having trustworthiness? Mission. I'm possible. Superpower identifier. Mission, I'm possible. Yeah, we I are see. all possible, I right? Yeah. I see. <laughs> What are the tools you are using to bring and express trustworthiness in your life? How does your family bring and express trustworthiness in their lives? How does your community promote trustworthiness? Shadow identifier. Identify some of the opposites of trustworthiness. So which of those questions would you like to answer? 